And so Fraser, Kulavani, has he got a good chance tonight? Yeah, he's well enough drawn. It's up to him if he comes away. He has the ability, but uh, the favourites don't. So uh, we're living in hope, but hopefully, hopefully he comes away and gets a run. He's he's, he's good enough, doggy. He, he has the ability to win it. It's up to him now. Group is jet now in the derby. Bit unlucky last week to get knocked out. Yeah, he was unlucky. He just didn't get the run and never broke and got caused the trouble. He'd nearly been better sleeping another half a length and, and getting a run, but there's no way he was in a qualified position when the trouble came, but that's racing. You can do nothing about that. Right, thanks, Fraser. And I'm also here with Tony McNamee. Now, Tony, as a member of the board, you must be sick and tired of going to all these tracks. I ah, know, you must be delighted going around travelling to all the tracks every week. Well, yeah, I enjoy it, I suppose. Been involved in the Greyhound business a long time, I know, an awful lot of the people anyway. But uh, basically I'm here tonight representing the board in recognition of the great sponsorship once again from Red Mills. And, uh, most tracks in the country Red Mills give tremendous sponsorship and it's much appreciated by the Irish Greyhound board. And uh, I suppose it's in recognition of the, the, good, the good supporters of Red Mills who buy all their dog nuts from them. And sure, it's the, the fact that they're putting so much sponsorship back is very much appreciated by the Irish Greyhound. And so what do you think is going to win the Derby now? The big night now is on Saturday night. Give me your prediction. Well, I met Teddy Hegarty at by Race Week and he told me the dog he fancied was Skywalker Puma. But on the evidence of what I've seen, uh, Dolores Roots 3 dog, cool Cougar, if he gets a flyer he could be very hard to pe peg back. But uh, it's an open enough final. Some of the dogs may be not that well drawn. The uh, Tyro Sugar A would definitely prefer to be inside. He's badly drawn, I, I believe. But there's the makings of a great final and sure, let the best dog win. Right. Thanks, Tony. And for the final, the big final, the Red Mill 600 final, what do you think? Uh, Pierce Town Buzz. Everyone's still on Pierce? Yeah, everyone is. Mind you, this, oh, is, this, this is a different rest tonight now because this Riverside look of plenty of early. Uh, Headway Mossy's a good dog. They give Eddie and Eddie for a sprint here. And it's strong there over 575, so you know, if, if he got hurt right, he'd be very dangerous. You know, but I I go Pierce's Town Buzz from Headway and Mossy and Riverside Luke. And have you any predictions for the big final tonight? As I said last week, I thought Pierce's Town Buzz would lead from traps and probably stream, and the danger would look Fraser would cool if any shine. Yeah. Uh, I can't see any other result other than that. So, John, what thing's going to win the final tonight? Well, I suppose uh, the three dog is well housed. Uh, the four dog uh, has the right chance as well. But you know, a final, anything can happen. Yeah. But uh, I think myself to three and the four are the dogs that will probably... The ones up. to be. The ones to be, I think, at the moment. Very We've good. We've been here every week watching them. We, We've been we here. should know. We should know. We should, yeah. <laughs> we don't, unfortunately. Yeah, we'll go down there to the bookies now. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. And Michael, what do you think? Well, I hope the number four dog, he's trained by Jimmy Frisbee, a neighbour of mine, so it'll be great to see him do it down in Wexford away from home, so best of luck to him. And are you going to the Derby yourself on Saturday night? I'm going to Harold's Cross tomorrow night for the puppy, puppy races, and then I'm going to uh, Shelburne Saturday night for the big one. For so the big one. Who big do you think is going to win the big one? Um, tough one to call, very tough to call. They all really have a shout in there, you know. I think they're all got their boxes, Nelly. And I think the one dog is well housed. Matt is in two, he'll be well fixed. Dolores in three, uh, PJ Fahey in four. So it'll be some rush to the bend. The outside dogs, I think, will be hoping for a bit of trouble inside and maybe they get a chance on the outside, you know. That's what I was saying earlier. We were the ones that when Puma won in the Red Mills Juvenile Linky Kenny and everyone went and backed him then and we didn't back him ourselves. Yeah, we were foolish, weren't we? <laughs> he, sh he showed us that, that he could run that night, there's yeah. no doubt, you know. So that was no, he said that that night he was a derby dog and now he's in the final, so it was good final, going. Yeah. yeah, we got our chance, so we didn't take it. No. it? Yeah. <laughs> oh, Michael, are you going to the derby yourself? I'm heading for Leperstown first for the champion stake so then after that we'll head over we should be there in time yeah so looking forward to it and again to be great to see Matt come through having been in Kilkenny and been so successful all the year as you said Matt called it right that night and hopefully he's right to the end now exactly. should be a good race anyway in one we've uh, Forrest Gent uh, Margaret Kios and uh, 11 from 1 in two we've David Jordan's Archantineus 
Uh, Black Dog, Killian Panther, our chat and Queen, February 09, and he's 12 out of 53, very good strike rate. He should go off probably 4 or 5 to 1. In three, we've the favourite Seamus Whelan's Pierce Town Blows, Buzz. Black Dog, um, trained by Ronald Shrinkwin, his son in law, Royal Impact Great Plan, a January 10, and he's 39, uh, runs 13 wins. I think he's probably one about maybe 10 or 11 around here this year. He's, he's, the, he's the track specialist. In four, we've the Riverside Luke, owned by the No Excuse Syndicate, trained by James J. Frisbee. He's a black dog, college causeway, Riverside Trixie, January 10, and he's won five out of 16. He'll probably go off about three to one. Um, again, he, 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 if anything, he's about the only dog to probably go to the bend with Pierce's Town Buzz. In five, um, you've got Coolavani Shine, Taggart McCarthy Brown Syndicate, um, trained by Fraser Black, the famous Fraser Black, white and black dog. Where's Pedro Mercury Queen? March 10, and uh, he's a five out of 18. Again, he'll probably be coming off the pace. And in six, we've um, Morris Brennan's Headway Mossy, led out by Michael Piggott. Um, Black Dog, March 10, and he's four out of 20. He, he showed huge pace here the last night to come off the pace to win, got up by a neck. Uh, I think he could lack a little bit of early pace, but um, if there's trouble, he'll, he'll probably be finishing for faster than anything at all. Betting the top, Forrest Gent is 10 to 1. Our Chant and Ace, 5 to 1. Pierce's Town Buzz, if Paddy puts a price up, I'm looking his 4 to 5 on. The 4 dog Riverside Lucas, 3 to 1. Coolavani Shine, 5 to 1. And the bottom, Headway Mossy, is 5 to 1. So they're betting 3 to 1 bar this favour. He's just gone even money. And the dogs are all loaded and the hair's on the move. 1 Forest Gen, 2 Arch Atenace, 3 Pierce Town Buzz, 4 Riverside Luke, 5 Coolavani Shine, and 6 Headway Mossy. And the hair is just behind traps and it's broke. And trap three here, Pierce Town Buzz is leading here at the moment to the first bend with four. Riverside Luke close in behind. Where's trap three, Pierce Town Buzz? But Riverside Luke, trap four here is close behind. And five, Coolavani Shine is close behind four. But three, Pierce Town Buzz is showing all the running. But Coolavani Shine is making a big run up the inside here. Where three, Pierce Town Buzz is still leading. But four, Riverside Luke is giving him a run for it now, coming up the home straight. Where's trap three here? Pierce Town Buzz still leading, but four is getting close. And four just bet three in a time of 30, 32 94. Where trap four here, Riverside Luke, is after winning for the no excuses syndic syndicate. Miles, some race. Well, uh, I was looking at the 575 line, I thought Pierce Town Buzz had won, but. Uh, just when I glanced there, I think Riverside Luke got up on the line, did he? Eva? Yeah, he did. He just pipped Pierce and yeah, was just on the line. Did he call a photo finish? Just on the line. He and ran a great race. 32 94. Good, great race. Yeah. Um, Coolavani Shine showed massive pace into the lower bend, but he seemed to lose his way. He got cut off, yeah, by yeah. Riverside there to third bend. But Coming home, yeah. He needed to be a, that bit more in front, I think. And the four dog finishes normally very well, so. Michael will be delighted. He said that's a neighbour of his, so he'll He's be... a neighbour of Michael Fielding's. That's right, yeah. yeah. And there's a big crowd of them. They told me last week if they qualified, they would, um, they would bring down a bus tonight. So they're here with, they have a busload of them here tonight with the dog. So if they win, there'll be big celebrations. I want to make sure you get them all down out of the bar now, John, for the photograph. Yeah, yeah. Four. I think it's just being called uh, Riverside Luke got up. You can probably hear the shout no in the background there. Syndicate are just... It's been called. John, Trap four is, is has just won. I'm, I'm not sure, to be honest, but I, they said they were getting the bus, so there must be quite a few of them. Well, you know, and I see they're a noisy there. crowd. There was a noisy crowd as well. Uh, that's, that's what makes it. That's what you're saying earlier, you know. More uh, syndicates would be very good for the game. You know? Yeah, it's kind of unfortunate for Shanks. He got caught on the line, but uh, he ran a super dog. But he just super dog, and he won it last year. And going for the double is never easy, I suppose. Yeah. Like anything, you know. But uh, he's still a good dog, and uh, as I said, uh, 
fact, a 4-1 with the syndicate there, there'll be a bit of excitement tonight. Where, where is James, Jeff Rizby? He's, he's Waterford away, is he? Or be, North Kilkenny, is he? To be Kilkenny, South Kilkenny. Yeah. Yeah, South Kilkenny. I've been at his kennel a few times. A very, very nice man and lovely place there, you know. Yeah, he's trained so, a lot of good dogs over the years. very near uh, Sean Dunphy, the headbound right. dog, you know. He'd be living only over the road from him, so. Yeah. It's a good area for dogs around there, really, you know. Yeah, it was, it was, we were just talking about it earlier. It was a, it was a, it was a race for early pacers, wasn't it? The two dogs. I don't know what happened to Coolavan. He shine. He got cut off coming into He was probably looking as if he was going to win it. He looked as if he was going to win it going down the back straight, but the bins here, you have to know your way around. Yeah. And uh, the three dog runs the bins very well. I thought he'd win when he was coming around the bins, but the four caught him on the line. So okay. that's 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 greyhound racing for you. I'm here with one of the members of the here lads. Turn around to camera. I'm here with a few of the members of the No Excuses Syndicate. You must be delighted. He ran a great. Race. Oh, so we couldn't believe it, and we were really, really sure that he would actually win now here tonight. And. People thought that he that he that he wasn't really staying that well, but we were sure that this like dog will get 900 yards. Is it true there's a busload of you here tonight? A few of you here. Anyway. We there's there's a few of us here. We had to cancel the bus because we didn't have enough, but <laughs> we made plenty of noise. <laughs> <laughs> you sure did, and how many is actually in the syndicate? Eight of us in the syndicate. Yeah, Clamel based. Yeah. Just come to get him. I bought him from. I, I bought him when he was 16 months or thereabouts, and Jimmy always trains our dogs. So, we so what, are we heading to Clamel for the party tonight? Where's the party? We're we'll trying to get back to as soon as possible. <laughs> we all dying yet. No not at all. <laughs> Come up and join us. You'll be more than welcome. No bother. Thanks, thanks, lads. <laughs> and I'm going to say bye from live stream from Enniscorty tonight. I hope he's all enjoyed it, and hope he'll join us again soon for more live streaming. <laughs>